Hi there, this is Dominic, the CX guy, Dominic from Rock Canal. Welcome to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dominic. I've been a Zendesk consultant for nine years, almost. <laughs> I've been a Zendesk partner for the past three years, and I've also worked at Zendesk, and I'm here to share some of that knowledge. Today's topic is going to be Zendesk Sunshine. What is it, and what the heck can I do with it? <laughs> so as we know, or we if we don't know, Zendesk Sunshine is a new addition from Zendesk, which, well, it's been there for two, three years almost, and uh, its purpose is to help you create more data uh, and uh, play around with your data on the platform. Now, it is very developer-centric, and I will have to be excused as I am not a developer myself, so yeah. We're just going to try to break down the information that Zendesk gives us, and I will give you some uh, examples of use cases that I've come across while working with uh, Zendesk and Zendesk Sunshine. So let's see, according to Zendesk, oh, by the way, before we begin, please like and subscribe this, uh, to this YouTube channel. You're getting all this free content, so the least you can do is maybe subscribe. Not maybe, please do. I mean, I've been looking at the stats and 90% of you are not subscribed, so it would be much appreciated. Now, going back to the video Zendesk Sunshine, what is it and what the heck can I do with it? The Zendesk Sunshine platform lets you connect and understand all your customer data wherever it lives. Kind of vague. The Sunshine data layer isn't a, uh, associated with one Zendesk pro product, but you can model relationships with certain native objects like tickets and users. Okay, kind of getting there. The Sunshine platform currently consists of three resources, events, Profiles and custom objects. Each can be accessed with the API, right? So this is a little bit uh, where it comes, starts to be a little bit vague because you can only access it via, via the API, which the API you can do via code, which doesn't make it very accessible. So that's why, for example, I myself am a visual person and I don't really understand stuff unless I see it somehow. So if you're like me, then you're watching the right video right now. Or if you're a developer, you can maybe understand how you can make things a little bit more easy for people to understand. So we're all getting something out of this. So uh, let's break it down. So it consists of three resources, events, right? Let's talk about events. Meaning that, for example, you have a business, right? And you can and you use Zendesk for support, right? To receive customer service requests. And then you have your team working in there, answers the support requests. Uh, let's assume that you do it well and yeah, all fine and dandy. Okay, amazing. Now, events means that, for example, you have, let's say, a business on e-commerce that you use to, you know, sell online, right? So in e-commerce is a an application online, you go, you, you can buy from it. You can have an app as well, downloadable on the phone. Now, the idea is that Zendesk is disconnected from whatever your business is, right? So let's, let's say from these e-commerce, it's disconnected. It doesn't know what's going on. So an event means that, for example, when a user buys a product from you, that's an event, right? Or if they click, uh, you know, I don't want this product, I want a return, that's another event. And then if the product, uh, it, they, for example, put it in a mailbox and they ship it to you, it arrives in your in your warehouse, that's another event. And then the customer says, okay, thank you. All right, let's go with it. Let's take it, on, take it down a notch. Then the customer says, I want my money back. That's an event. The money arrives in their bank account. That's another event. Then the customer buys something else with that money. That's another event, right? So you don't know all of this in Zendesk. So the events API lets you essentially track all that information in Zendesk. So your agents will always see what their customer has done, right? So you can bring all this information, all these events into the uh, Zendesk Sunshine events API, and you can display them to your agents so they can see them. So far, so good, right? <laughs> okay, so now the other one is profiles. Okay, so the number one, let's say, problem nowadays is the fact that data is scattered through all over the internet, right? So you, when you run a business, you don't just use Zendesk. You use um, Magento, you use Shopify, whatever you use to make your sales. Then you use a tool like Zero to uh, send invoices or Stripe. Then you have another tool for, let's say, bug reports, but maybe it's Jira. Uh, then you have another one for project management, which is maybe Monday, uh, monday.com or, uh, I don't know, Asana or whatever. <laughs> then you have another one for, I don't know, for sales, which is, yeah, so it's Shopify, uh, Salesforce or whatever, right? So you have all these different tools that 
contain information about your customer. And in an ideal scenario, you want all that information to live in one place. Specifically, when that customer reaches out to you and says, hey, I need your help. Uh, I have a problem, right? I have a problem with your product. I have a problem with your company. Now, you want to empower your agents to give contextualized answers back, right? So you want your agents to know who they're talking to. And, you know, if they are, I don't know, an old customer, like a... That isn't like a old old grandpa, <laughs> but like a customer that's done business with you for five years. Maybe they are high up in the priority rather than someone who's just thinking of a buying from you, right? They haven't yet done business with you. So you want to know their profile. You want to know everything you can about them, right? So you bring all of this information you have about these customers to bring them into your um, Zendesk, for example. And that's where you can use the Zendesk a profiles API and bring this information, surface it inside Zendesk so you can offer contextualized support. Now, there is another side, which is custom objects, which is, this is a very good bit because I um, I have been actively involved in this and try, and I, I'm not trying, I've built some apps for it. So, you know, custom objects means the, the following, right? So in Zendesk, you have three data types, very big. It's their amazing, but this is how Zendesk works. If you think about it, it's amazingly simple. Um, you have organizations, and then organizations have users, and then users have tickets, right? An organization can have multiple users, a user can have multiple tickets. And then obviously the organization can have tons of tickets because yeah, it contains the users that have the tickets. So you have these three data, data models that have these relationships between them. Now, Custom objects comes to help you to create additional data models besides these three. Because when you run a business, you don't just have tickets, organizations, and users. You also have maybe products. You have devices. You have items. You have coupons. You have um, subscription types. You have, I don't know, you have uh, whatever, you know, I've just given up giving you some examples, right? So you want to create relationships between, for example, your customers and the products that they own or the subscription that subscriptions that they have with you or the devices that they own if you're, uh, if you're for example, an uh, ITSM. So, um, yeah. See what I'm getting with this, right? So then the Sunshine Custom Objects allows you to create these additional data models and to create relationships. So by the way, I have created an app on the Zendus Marketplace for support and Zenda Sunshine, where you can assign these projects, you can assign these uh, products or items or subscriptions, you can assign them directly to the user because otherwise you can add them in Zendesk, but you can have to assign them through the API, which is a, yeah, not very friendly. So I have created an app for that, for you to assign these, which makes it a hell of a lot easier to manage these uh, custom objects. Now, um, what else? Oh yeah, so now we finished these three, right? So events, profiles, and custom objects, we talked about these three. Now there's another thing that you can use the Zendesk Sunshine platform for, and it's conversations. So you can create custom conversations, right? So this means that you can make rich conversations using the Zenda Sunshine Conversations API and how this Sunco API, as you might be familiar with it, right? So you can use this to create rich conversations. How? You know how you can use, right, the Flow Builder and the, to create like some conversations um, in your chat, right? So you can have these uh, guided flows for your users. Well, you can create an even more uh, complex ones. For example, you can use Conversation Sunco, Sunshine Conversations, to, for example, ping uh, your backend and say, if your customer writes to you and says, um, yeah, for example, um, dear customer, are you a registered user? Yes, I am, in the conversation, right? Customer says, yes, okay, what is your email address? They put in their email address. Now you have uh, a webhook that takes this email and then goes to your backend or your Shopify or I don't know, Magento, Salesforce, whatever you use, and then pings that and says, do you know anything about this? Yes, I do. They are have this kind of subscription. They have a professional subscription with my company or they own this whatever, three products that they bought, right? And then you know this about them. And then you say, is this regarding a um, uh, outstanding order? Like something that you recently purchased or is it something related to something 
about these three products that we know you own with us? Do you have anything to ask us about these things that you own with us or this subscription that you already have? Or is it about something new? Uh, it's about a new order. Ah, what is that order number? Uh, they give that order number and your back end, your, well, essentially what you can use Sunco for. You take that order number and you ping your back end, whatever it is, right? And you see, do I know anything about this order? Ah, boom. I do know it's set to arrive next Thursday because we had a delay, whatever it's set to arrive next Thursday. Are you, is there anything else that you wanted to know? No, I didn't actually. That's it. Thank you. Bear in mind who the person or who had this conversation going so far was a machine was a robot, right? So this has been a machine that has done this thing that a, a human had to do before they had to ask for the email had to ask for the order number had to ask for whatever data is relevant information piece of information is relevant had to go into a back end had to type in that order number or whatever product number surface that up go back into the chat say to the customer yeah sure let's uh, do you it will arrive with you it will be with you next thursday so yeah See, you you did you did all of this with a machine. So this has been the gist of what Sandisk Sunshine can do for you. It's in essence a playground for you to create data models and to essentially yeah automate even more of your business uh, and be able to yeah keep everything into one place, have a one source of truth, create custom conversations, create custom interactions and yeah, make it easy for you to run your business and uh, yeah, all to essentially decrease churn, keep your customers with you, try to encourage, not try, encourage them to do more business with you because if they're satisfied with what the service that you give them, then they will be happier and they will continue to do business with you and you'll continue to, you know, uh, increase revenue because of it, or at least keep an, uh, an, uh, a predictable ARR, an annual recurring revenue, because you keep your customers with you. I hope this video was helpful for you. I, I enjoyed doing it. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead, drop me a, um, drop me a comment in the, uh, yeah, in the chat, not chat, sorry, in the comment box. I'll, I always answer these. Uh, unless you're rude. If you're rude, I will not. Uh, I won't. I won't. I won't be bothered. Uh, I'll see you and I love you. Bye. <laughs>